Hello there YouTube, welcome to another technology and food video. Today I'm going to be showing you something a bit different to what I normally do. I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Xbox 360 gamer tag. Now before you start, you want to make sure you have a USB flash drive. Um, it has to be one gigabyte or bigger for this to actually work. And you need to be able to format it to a size. I format it mine to 256 megabytes because that's the smallest one you can do on the Xbox. I'll show you what to do now. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your USB flash drive and plug it into your Xbox 360. It doesn't matter what version of the 360 you have, because I have the 360 gig brand new version. So what I'm going to do is, in the USB slot at the front, I'm going to get my USB flash drive and plug it straight into the front. When it's in, you, if you have your own LED light, it'll start flashing when it's ready. Okay, now once you've inserted that to your Xbox 360, you'll want to go to System Settings, Memory, and go to your and go to your memory unit. If it's your first time, you'll be prompted with setup of like what to do to like format it. Just format it to the smallest size is what I recommend. I formatted part of it to 256 megabytes, so that's just for my Xbox, and that's all you need. So you want to go to your hard drive or wherever your gamer. Sorry, your gamer tag is located. Go to gamer profiles and go on to the one. My one is Gimbo97, so I'll be selecting that one. I'll select move. I'll be moving it to the memory unit. This only takes a couple of seconds, and once it's done, you can just back out onto your dashboard, and then you can safely remove your USB flash drive. And once you've removed it, you have to go to your computer, and now I'm going to be going to my screen recorder on my PC so that I can prompt you through the next two steps. Okay, so once you've managed to get your USB with your profile on it, you'll want to download three separate files. These files are called EasyGT, USB Explorer, and Modio. Now, these three will be in a description link, so you can just simply download them and extract them on your desktop. You'll, only, you'll need to make two folders for these, and so if you extract them straight to your desktop, there'll be a few folders. With Modio, it's a bit easier. Okay, so once you've first got it, you want to insert your USB to your computer and open up USB Explorer. Once you've opened this, a little window will come up. Press File at the top and select Open Device. Once it's in here, you'll automatically detect your USB flash drive and then you'll see this content list. Click on Content, go to the top one all the way through. And if it's that is your right profile, once you double click the final one, you won't be able to go any further. If it's the wrong one, look through more files until you find one that once you double click, it doesn't take you any further. So once you've found it, you want to click, press extract, and I'm just going to put mine to my desktop for now, because that, I'm not going to need it for later. Okay, once it's on your desktop, open up Modio. I'm going to use Modio now to prove that that is my gamer tag. Modio takes a few seconds to load up, so just please be patient while this does. Okay, once Modio opens, you'll see two windows inside. Just close these as you'll not need them. Now off your desktop, once you see your game attack that you've extracted to your desktop, drag that straight into Mardio, and if that's your correct account, you'll see it up the top. You'll see your game attack at the top and your profile picture, just to prove that that is it. Now you can close that down and just use it for later. So first, next, I'm going to open up EasyGT. I'm going to open up EasyGT Final, the EXE program, and then I'm just going to wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, I'm going to click the little symbol of a person at the top, select open, and then open that file off my desktop, which is the game of tag. Okay, now make sure once you're first in options, make sure your modded profile number is set to zero if this is your first time doing it. If this is your second modded account, you just simply press number one. But since this is the first one going on my Xbox, I've done one before, but I've removed it so I can use zero again. Next, if you click Add, you can insert all these symbols into the tray at the bottom here, which is where you edit your gamertag. So if I just delete this out now, 
I could select things. So if I wanted to just make things, so what I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to put the back button. Then I'm going to just do in red. I'm going to just type M for mob. Then I'm going to select yellow, O, and then I select green, and then do D. Then I'm just going to use the start symbol so then you'll see there's a bunch of wacky symbols which won't make any sense but it will once it's on your xbox okay once you've got it happily in there you can type whatever you want use any colors and i'll be done so right now all you need to simply do is press file save if you got this option on the right if you got the newest version press save as text and then save that to your desktop you'll see a folder appears now this is the folder you'll be using so right now you want to go back into USB Explorer and once you've opened that file open like you did before and you'll see it there once you're on this content menu you'll want to just drag that whole folder straight into there actually no correction you'll want to open up content and then drag that in there then okay now that's in there sorry for that little mistake there okay so you need to open up the content folder and drag it in okay when that's done you simply just press the X and then that's your modded profile ready I'm gonna go back to my camera now on my Xbox 360 so I can show you the modded symbol okay now once you're back on your Xbox 360 you wanna plug in your USB flash drive and then first of all I'm assuming you'll wanna move them back to your hard drive or your other save device so just go to memory memory unit gamer profiles and you'll see your two one in there you'll see your modded profile and your normal profile move your modded one first into wherever you're saving it to and then move your normal one I'm not sure if it matters about the order but that's the way I've done it and that's the way I know it works okay so now when you go back to your dashboard you want to sign in this way click on the sign in button and then click on the modded account now just press B by there and you'll be signed in but not have an avatar. So then what you want to do is you'll want to click on the game. So I'm just going to use Modern Warfare 2 because I know this works for it. Okay. So you'll have to go through all these settings again. Like you would when you first had the game. And then just choose multiplayer, continue to multiplayer. I'll assume that it's a new profile. Don't worry about the fact that it says 0% because that will matter. Just load it from your hard drive for your profile. And when you press Xbox Live, now sign in as your normal account. It'll use your normal account with this modded gamer tag. Now when you press Xbox Live, you'll see it in the top right corner as it loads your stats. It takes a bit longer than normal to load your stats because it's not used to this account and you'll see it there so there's the modded gamer tag up there Let's try and zoom in a bit too it says back mod in different colors and stuff and that's simply how you do it because then you'll have that throughout the rest of the games you play so thanks for watching this video i hope it helped you a lot of how to mod your gamer tag for xbox live so thanks for watching this tutorial comment rate subscribe any problems you've had with this please message me because i'll be able to help you with most of your problems and so that's pretty much it, yeah. So, once again, thank you, and I hope this helped.